I'm Troy Kirby with MLT News with a quick look at the 2021 Washington State Legislative Session. House lawmakers debated in gross substitute House Bill 1097, which would increase worker protections. The bill passed the House 5344, moving on to the Senate for consideration. Uh, whenever I look at uh, workplace safety bills, a line from a protest uh, folk song comes from about 40 years ago. And the line was something that was very simple. It said, uh, we don't just come to work here. Excuse me. We just come to work here. We don't come to die. Uh, I, I was not going to uh, talk on this bill originally, uh, but I think it's important to point out uh, from what we've seen on uh, some of the floor amendments, Madam Speaker, um, we're kind of 50-50 on this. I believe this process of debating on the floor is about um, perfecting the bill. And let me talk to you about a little bit of my mistrust of the regulatory body, labor and industries that regulates uh, these issues. Uh, we built a brand new fire station for about three and a half million dollars. Uh, Elle and I came in and did an inspection and say that uh, said at our floor that we paid a lot of money to put down was too slippery. So they insisted that we put down floor mats. Those floor mats within the first week caused two uh, knee injuries and those because uh, they tripped over those floor mats. Um, and uh, Madam Speaker, I think it's important to say that we, when we're talking about these protections, uh, we're talking about uh, COVID, we're talking about keeping workers safe. I'm all for it and I wanna vote for the bill. I don't believe we've perfected this bill, Madam Speaker. It looks like um, we still have a lot of work to do on it. I'm supporting this bill because we have great employers in this state, yes. We have them in our caucus. We have them across the aisle. But we don't hear from workers who work for those who are supportive of their workers and ensuring their safety. We hear from workers who don't have access financially to the resources that would help protect them. This bill provides more pathways for those workers to ensure their health and their safety is protected on the job. Bills like this that, that seem so um, out of balance towards employers that cause entrepreneurs like uh, many of the, the, the friends that I have not want to continue to do business in Washington. And I am personally witnessing um, the exodus of some very bright entrepreneurs in this state. There are, in many instances, real power dynamics at play. I mean, it is employers and employees are not always necessarily on the same footing. In many cases, employers have the power dynamic that puts them at the advantage. The frustrating part listening to this respectful debate today, which I appreciate, is that our employees, as a small business owner, our employees, we consider family. It's, it's to our advantage and it's the right thing to do to take care of them. So when we see these repeated pieces of legislation come out talking about power dynamics, these are our friends. I, I'm friends with every single one of my employees. I take care of their children when I'm not. I would take care of their dog if they were away. I think it's so frustrating to continually hear how there's this battle between employees and employer. I know there's some bad actors. There's that in many professions. And I, I don't think in any of our arguments are we addressing, you know, inequities and power dynamics being part of the problem. What we're saying is there are inequities in response in, in the law we're creating here. Uh, this bill is very simple. It will protect workers. And this bill is also about racial equity. Uh, we know that Black, Indigenous, and other workers of color are injured at a higher rate on the job, and in particular in agricultural, manufacturing, and healthcare industries. So I think I told you before, I had a brother that owned orchards, hired at least a thousand workers, essential workers. And of those thousand, after years and years of regulation after regulation after regulation, five years ago, he decided that the regulations were way too much. They couldn't make any money doing that and hiring a thousand people at a time every summer, every summer and every year. Uh, and, and so he retired because of regulations, more and more regulations on small businesses. Thank you for watching the Daily Legislative Report by MLT News covering the 2021 legislative session.